Hi everybody. Oh, it's a gorgeous spring day here. Today we're going to talk about perennial flowers. So what does perennial mean? Think about that expression perennial as the grass. It means that the flowers come back year after year after year, which is fantastic for us gardeners because it's less work. So what happens basically with the perennial flower is that it can survive the winter. It goes dormant in the winter, puts all its energy into its roots. And then when it starts warming up, they wake up and off they go to do their thing. Early flowering perennials include these gorgeous primroses. Another early blooming perennial is the hellebore. Just the most gorgeous flowers. And I have this white version and this beautiful dark pink version, which self seeded for my neighbor's garden. And this wonderful blast of color is a perennial called Aubrecia. And it has a wonderful way of spilling over walls. So how are you going to choose where you're going to plant your perennial flowers? Well, there are a whole lot of things you can be thinking about here. First of all, location. Are you planting in a sunny spot, in a partially shaded spot, or in the shade? I have a particularly shady spot, which is empty at the moment, and I've decided to plant foxgloves. Foxgloves are a great flower that you typically see in English cottage gardens. They have a long, long stem with lots of flowers all the way up, and they look like someone's painted little speckles on each of the blossoms. So, location is one thing. Also, what time of year does it flower? I've shown you some early flowering perennials. Then there are also other perennials that flower in the summertime, like, well, early summer, there are delphiniums. This is a delphinium, which I absolutely love. It's another kind of flower with a tall stalk and lots of flowers. There's a theme going on, I guess, with my choices this year, but I'm gonna be planting these and these like a semi shaded spot. So I'm going to be planting them near a hazelnut tree where there's dappled sunlight coming down. All right, so we've got location, time of year that it blossoms, and then you can be thinking about things like what flowers do you actually like? What color palette do you actually like? Do you have a special memory attached to a specific kind of flower? I'm going to be planting this year a whole lot of black-eyed Susans. It's a rudbeckia. It's also called a cone flower. And I love these flowers because they remind me of my dad. Black eyed Susans are one of his favorite flowers. Also, you can choose a plant because of its flower, the color of its flower, but also maybe for its leaves. I love these leaves. Look at them. Aren't they happy? I just think they're really pretty. They just touch me somehow. I don't know what it is. And this flower is called a lupin. And it is, this one's going to grow a meter high. It flowers in the summertime and it's another one with tall stalks with lots of flowers on it. So there's definitely a theme going on with my choices this year. Then also you can be thinking about the purpose that that particular plant might be serving. So for example, I'm going to be planting Monardias, also called bee balm. And these are flowers that attract bees like crazy. So I'm going to be planting them next to my vegetable patch in order to attract pollinators. So in terms of planting your perennial flowers, it's pretty straightforward. You just want to make sure that you've got a hole big enough to accommodate the root ball of your plant. I'm going to plant this delphinium now. I've dug a hole. You're going to gently tip your plant over. I squeeze the pot a little bit. Gently loosen it up so that the roots are going to be able to get in contact easily with the soil. I'm going to water it. And I've also soaked it ahead of time. Well, I didn't do it. Actually, it rained overnight, so the plant's already nicely hydrated. Gently put the soil around it. Press it down a little bit so it's nice firmly in place. And then it's a good idea to water it again just to make sure there are no air pockets left in the soil. And then you just want to make sure you regularly water your new plant so that it can settle in nicely into the soil. So there you go. These are all different kinds of ideas about kinds of perennial flowers that you can be thinking of planting. Again, like I always say, go to your garden center and they'll have a whole section dedicated to perennial flowers. And now is a good time to plant lots of them so that they have time to establish themselves and get ready to blossom and bring some beauty to your garden. Have a happy spring day, everybody.